Welcome heels and villains to the Duke Enterprise YouTube channel. I know I recently did a channel and review video, but this is slightly different. This is a review of basically the whole year of 2020. This will be a short one then. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm just saying that it passed by very quickly. For some. My 2020 was rather eventful. <laughs> I don't know about yours, but mine was rather eventful. I wouldn't say eventful, but definitely not the path expected. As old viewers are aware, and to introduce you to new viewers, this is my original cohort and currently only cohort, Anthony. <laughs> good evening and good morning to whomever's watching. So, Anthony, how did this year affect you? We'll start with that. It didn't affect me as bad as other people. Uh, I was very fortunate that I was able to move from working in an office building to working at home without reduced hours and just continuing on. Uh, the tech did take a few months to follow uh, being told to work from home. Uh, but it's definitely been interesting waking up, working, and living in the same spot or same place. I'm very fortunate that I have a house and I'm not stuck in a one-bedroom apartment like I was two years ago. I did my taxes at the end of December of last year, as you may be or may not be aware of. I used some of that money to pay off my credit card, which I all, for some reason I always let get above 500 and I should never do that. And my phone bill, which I also got up at that point. And then I spent the rest of the money buying Magic the Card boxes as an investment for the future. I then bought people's bulk commons and uncommons. And a major project for me this year was sorting my Magic cards. Yeah, I have to also ditto that. Uh, well... Not the finance stuff, but uh, ditto that I actually got back into Magic this year, um, and I went through sorting through every single CCG that I had uh, cards for, and so I know you and I off this channel have discussed quite a bit about that and the work that I've done going through every single CCG I've ever collected, which is about 20-some-odd different CCGs, and... Uh, for those that I could make decks, I made some decks, and then others I just stored away by set. Speaking of cards, I also this year got into collecting Force of Will. I have several boxes. All the cards that I've opened have been put on my channel. One thing I noticed today is somehow I threw out the first box of Force of Will cards I opened. Ooh. On top of that, you and me... We started a project we started talking about in September of last year, this year. Senators, Junkers, and more past Canadian Prime Ministers. Yep, so we've done the three ch uh, three videos on Sir John A, and now we're working on PM number two. I know I've received the questions, and I have... I owe you answers. I went from having, like, 20 subscribers to 46, so that's good, too. You doubled your count. That's always good. It also seems that the live interviews seem to be have a lot of people wanting to watch them. Well, no, uh, I, I think it's always good to hear from a lot of different people, and I think you're talking like your conversations with GMs is not something that other channels offer. So I, I think it's a unique, a unique aspect to your your channel and a new direction for your channel to go in. I've also started a second channel, which has way higher production costs than for Duke Enterprises. I still, I still have to go visit that channel. I still haven't made my way over there. I, I'm, I'm almost caught up with this channel. <laughs> this year was significantly better for my mental health, considering I didn't end up in a mental hospital this year. 
Yeah, that, that's a that's definitely a good step. And you know, as long as you know you're taking care of yourself, uh, that's good. No one else is going to know you or take better care of you than you. And I I think you've been drawing more professional lines. And then going back to Star Wars, I've been getting back into the old EU by reading the novels. And additionally, I've whet my appetite with reading The Alphabet Squadron. And right now I'm reading the Aftermath novel for the new Disney canon. Anne McCaffrey is a very talented writer. She's no longer with us, but she's a very talented writer. Whether she's alive or not doesn't change the fact that she's a very talented writer. Nope. That's it. 2020 has also been very hard for your fandom of Star Wars. Well, no, I think 2019 was hard on the fandom with the rise of Skywalker. 2020 has been has been better, and I think Man- the Mandalorian and the season that just concluded is proof that uh, Dave Filoni and um, Oh, I can't remember the other guy's name. That their handling of Star Wars is uh, definitely, definitely in the right direction. That they know what they're doing. You're enjoying your dive into Star Wars Disney. I I am, and I know that like they're obviously I, it's not perfect, and. I, I think maybe after I've read a few not more novels, maybe we can come back to this, and maybe this is a conversation for another video of a compare and contrast between the old EU and the new EU, because I know you've read some of the old e uh, the old extended universe novels. I've read some of it, but I'm really only familiar with the stuff that Timoth- Timothy Zahn pulled out. Short stories that I've read that stick out in my mind, like there being four IG-88 but I don't remember how, I don't re- remember that story well enough to remember if it's any good or not. But I remember the fact that there was four IG eighty eight and all that yes. stuff. I remember that as well, and I believe it is in this novel right here, in Tales of the Bounty Hunter. Have you done anything outside of Star Wars and Magic this year? don't think so. I've watched a few TV shows, uh, like How to Get Away with Murder, and currently my wife and I are watching Scandal. You enjoy them? Uh, we, so I enjoyed How to Get Away with Murder, and Scandal is... I, I'm slugging through it. We're almost done. Uh, the main character in Scandal is absolutely deplorable she's the worst human being on this planet she thinks she's doing the right thing and most of her choices are absolutely wrong as a political scientist i know that's not your job but that's what your degree states you are (laughs) how uh, how do you from what you know how are the premiers of canada handling covid Looking at polling, and then just looking at the number of cases, it looked like, I guess it looks like Alberta and British Columbia are getting late a late wave for both the first and second round. Um, and the only premier that seems to be facing a lot of criticism is yours right now, Mr. Kenny. Uh, he's, he seems to be the only premier right now in the country that has a higher unfavorable to favorable percentage. So besides having extra measures due to the pandemic, how has your life been this year? Uh, my life has been good. It's been pretty uneventful, but uneventful is good. So I'm not going to complain. I haven't. I did not have any huge roofing expenses this year, so that was nice. So, I know you're going to be working at home for the near future, but do you have anything you wish to accomplish for 2021? 
we have a few house projects that we want to get done, and maybe I would like to, you know, I, I enjoyed playing Magic with you over the cam the one time, so if we can get a better, like, if we can get that set up again, that would be enjoyable. We'll see where any of these options head. My main focus is always going to be my this channel, be, but due to the fact that my new channel has a much higher production rate, I have an editor on staff. I actually have a staff on my other channel, part-time staff, but still staff. Yep. That I don't always use, but I still have a staff. And... <laughs> I'm not really promoting my other channel as much as I do my main channel. I don't know if you've But it'll that come anymore. around. It'll it'll come around. I think, you know, your new channel, this channel, I, I think both have growing like you said, both of them are growing. So I I think it just takes a little time. Like I yeah, you know, I've I, seen some of their small channels now that, you know, are now finally hitting 100 members. I know this is before Christmas and a lot could happen, but this video will probably be out after Christmas, but it's recorded before Christmas, but it's also late where you're at and it's getting close to your bedtime, so I'm going to let you go to bed. <laughs> yep. Because I'm a I'm a early riser, so I guess that makes me an early an early sleeper. Hopefully next year I can go back to having time to have chatting videos with you because I missed that. Yeah, same with me. I, I think I've brought this up before that I, I enjoy the. Uh... Don't forget to do all the YouTube things, and hopefully me and my cohort will see you in the next video. If not, just me. But I will be around.